Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint vinyl siding or vinyl fencing. As you can see here, my fence is two different colors because one of them we got for free, so we decided to put it up when we moved in. Painting vinyl can be intimidating just because it's so shiny and you might think that it won't stick. Um, but this is my first house that I painted about five years ago. As you can see, it was green before, so I decided to paint it a more neutral color. Still had the green roof. However, um, five years later, that paint is still intact. So in this video, I'll go over the steps to painting vinyl siding or vinyl fencing. It's the same process for each project. The first thing you're going to want to do is power wash either your siding or your fencing with soap and water. Get rid of anything that's on it, any dust, any dirt, any grime. Um, this fence was sitting under a deck for a number of years, so I had to really power wash it to get everything off of it. Um, I just used detergent and, and some Dawn dish soap. Really the important thing here is to just make sure you get the fence clean. Um, doesn't really matter the kind of soap you use, just make sure you get all of the dirt and grime and dust off of the fence or the siding, whichever project you're doing. So basically you're just going to spray down the area with soap and water and then go back with the power washer with just clean water and spray the whole entire surface down. So I used Glidden Premium Exterior Paint Plus Primer. Now you could use paint and primer um, separately. That would probably give you a longer lasting product. However, I decided to go with this just to save time and I'm not sure how long it's going to be until I just decide to replace that fence altogether. I did want to point out that it is good for use on weathered vinyl. Um, it does say, however, that vinyl siding or similar plastic composites should not be painted with a darker color because it could cause it to warp. Since I'm painting a fence, I decided to paint the corners of the fence posts just so I can get in there. And then next I decided to paint the tops and the bottom of the fence. Just remember to tape off and use plastic or cardboard um, to cover anything that you do not want to be painted. You saw in that corner by my house that um, I did tape up and use some cardboard to protect the house to not get painted. And then after I painted the tops and the corners of each post, I went ahead and started painting all of the panels. And then I did the exact same process on the other side of the fence. Just make sure you tape off and use any plastic sheeting or cardboard to cover anything that you do not want to be painted. And then just go ahead and paint all the corners and tops and bottoms of the fence and then paint the panels. And here's what it looked like after I was done painting. So here's a picture of what it looked like before. And then here's a picture of what it looked like after it was painted. And yes, it is still a different fence. However, the fence was free. And I'm a do-it-yourselfer kind of guy. So I don't really care that it's a different fence. I just wanted it to match. But if you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching.